A West 2 investigation a week after this home was badly damaged during a raid, the homeowner wants to know who's going to help pay to clean it up. You might remember last Friday, deputies arrested James Stewart, who is charged with first degree murder after a 10 hour standoff. The home that he was hiding in had no connection to the crime. West 2's Matt Grant is live at the home, and Matt, the homeowner, got some conflicting information about who will repair the damage. Well, that's right, but first take a look. This is the entrance. The door is gone, as you can see. There's broken glass, and if you come inside, you can see there's busted furniture, even a hole in the roof. The owner tells me he doesn't have homeowner's insurance, so this will not be easy or cheap to repair. Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's going to take some time to fix it. A week after the Orange County Sheriff's Office raided his home, Charles Nelson is left with a mess and no way to pay for it. I think it sucks. You know what I mean? I think it sucks big time. Last Friday, SWAT team members surrounded Nelson's home while serving a search warrant for murder suspect James Stewart, who was arrested after a 10 hour standoff. Nelson estimates the damage done to his home, missing doors, a ripped out ceiling, and broken furniture is in the tens of thousands. You know, I'm glad you got the guy, but damn, this is a job. I'm, I'm over 60 years old now. I got to do all this work to fix this thing up. It's just going to be. Massive. In a follow up email to a phone call, a sheriff's office safety coordinator told Nelson yesterday there is no reimbursement for damages incurred during a search warrant. Basically, he told me I was on my own, and, he, and, and really, I felt like he was uh, pretty arrogant about it. He said, we don't have to pay nothing. They were executing the warrant. We asked the sheriff's office about that today, and a spokesman tells us it was a mistake and that an insurance adjuster will visit next week to determine what amount, if anything, should go to Nelson. Oh, my God. We showed video of the damage to West 2 News legal analyst Richard Hornsby. Looking at the damage they did to that house, it almost looks like they were malicious in a way they destroyed things. This is clearly a case where law enforcement's um, destruction of property was unnecessary and, and excessive. There, there's no question about that. Hornsby says he would be surprised if the sheriff's office didn't offer Nelson a settlement. And I think that that's what's going on here is law enforcement and the sheriff's office recognizes that they will have to fix this. Back here live, the sheriff's office reiterates this case is not closed. An adjuster will be out here on Wednesday uh, to document the damages and interview Nelson and his wife. For now, we're live in Orange County. Matt Grant, West 2 News.